So he said, you know, you better hurry up. You know, so I said, okay. I take out my phone. And right when I was getting ready to record Earl the Pearl, he looks at me and he says, you know, I would like to say that. He said, Nicovelli, he didn't. He said, are you ready? But let me just have my own fantasy, y'all. Black Jesus looks at me and he says, Nicovelli, can I have my two friends in the photo with me as you videotape me? Now, what Nicovelli going to say? No, Black Jesus, you can't have your friends in the in my uh, Nicovelli channel. Of course, Nicovelli. Black Jesus could have had anybody he wanted at that time. Huh? Nigga really ain't care as long as that, that man spoke. So, Black Jesus gets there and he says, Hey, hey, this is Earl the Pearl Monroe. And I'm on Nicovelli TV. Watch it. And he walks off. And let me tell you, Nicovelli lost his damn mind. I try to play cool. But as y'all all see, at the end of that clip, I says, thank you. I ain't want to say thank you. Not that I wasn't grateful, but as a drop, I wanted to be as professional as I wanted to be. Like, Nicovelli knew this was going to go down from the gate. So, it just came out. Thank you. Oh, I, I would have bowed at the time. I got black Jesus. So, he leaves. And you know how Eddie Murphy in The Delirious... He said, I got my ice cream. I got my ice cream. Nicovelli was walking home and shit like, I got black Jesus. I got black Jesus. I got, yo, I was ecstatic, y'all. Huh? Ecstatic. But there was a problem. I forgot to press the button after I record, recorded black Jesus. You know, so you see him walking away in the video show the concrete. I said, oh man, I don't know how to edit. I'm going to have to find somebody to edit it out. And it worked out, y'all. So, I put the video up and I'm on cloud nine. I'm the man on my block. Matter of fact, I'm still the man, y'all. But Nick Valley is still humble. I got a lot more work to do. And remember that video I showed y'all with me talking about the mountaintop and I'm climbing the mountain? I ain't even get halfway up that mountain yet. I got so much work to do, man. But anyway, let me get back into my story. So, I got black Jesus. I got black Jesus. I got black Jesus. I'm going home, nigga Belly feeling good about his shit. I'm like, damn, I got Joe Heyman. I got Scotty Hines. But black Jesus? Hmm? I, I think I went home and opened up the Bible and shit. And read a couple of scriptures. Scriptures, y'all. I just felt delighted. I felt hopeful. I felt empowerment. I just don't know, man. So, Nicovelli says to himself, he gonna go back out there again. So I go back out there again. And I go to that bodega store, the guy I told y'all about, who I asked from the very beginning, do you know Earl the Pearl? And he looked at me, that guy, and said, why you just didn't tell me? So he says to me, which was kind of strange, he said, hey, so you got him. And it kind of threw me off. I said, Earl the Pearl, you talking about? He said, yeah. So I said, yeah, I got him on my channel. So I show him the phone, and I show him my, you know, YouTube, Nick Cavelli channel, basketball channel. And he says, all right. He says, so where you going now? This is what he asked me because he see me with more cameras. I said, I'm going back to see if I could get Black Jesus to speak. Man gave me a look and he laughed. I see the same crossing guard that I seen before. So I go back out there and I'm sitting down. You know, it's a tree and got the little gate around the tree. So I'm sitting on that shit. And lo and behold, who do I see again? And I'm right by Black Jesus' car. I ain't even know it. Now, I ain't gonna mention what kind of car it was, but best believe I can't afford it. <laughs> huh? Not yet. Nigga Valley, you know what? Well, anyway, I'm sitting there, and the man comes out, and I say, hey, it's Nigga Valley. And he looks at me like, who? I said, the guy that you did the drop for on the basketball channel. And he looks at me, he goes, oh, yeah, I see y'all, I just want to thank you. And he said, no problem. Then I said to him again, can I get you on my channel for like three minutes? 
And he said, no, not right now. I'm busy. And the kind of face he gave me was like, I'm pushing it, young man. Like, I'm on your channel already. And I didn't want to piss black Jesus off. So I said, next time, to let him know that you just ain't going to intimidate me. Not to say that he was trying to do that. But I didn't want to let him know that I felt kind of discouraged. So I walked off. And while I was walking off, I seen the guy from the goddamn bodega look as if he knew Black Jesus was coming downstairs. So I go over to the bodega store, right? And I said, you told him I was in front of the building, right? He said, nah, I didn't know, but I just felt it was kind of funny that he would come and look outside the door. So it looked as if he gave that man pointers that I was coming downstairs. So I wasn't leaving that time. I got black G. No. Because I didn't get him again. But then, as I was walking home, I said to myself, you know what? Count your blessings, young man. Because he didn't have to do the drop. I'm going to say it again. Black Jesus did not have to. Who am I? Well, I am Nick Cavelli, God damn it. But seriously, who am I to Black Jesus to be saying, okay, I'm going to do the drop for you. He did that. He didn't have to do that. So Black Jesus, if you watching, a.k.a. Earl the Pearl Monroe, I just want to say thank you, man. Thank you for changing my life and giving me an experience that I would never, ever forget. Never, ever. You know? Because you have came on my channel. You have spoke. And it was a good look. And I'm forever grateful. Now, will Nick Ravelli go back out there again? Hells yeah, I'm going back there. <laughs> I hope I don't piss this man off, man. But... I would hope that Earl the Pearl, a.k.a. Black Jesus, would know that this is New York. And I'm not trying to be a stalker. I'm not trying to harass this man. I'm just trying to do what other people would probably be scared to do. Bring out greatness. And in order to bring out greatness, you're going to need great individuals to do that. And what a way to start off, man. So once again, kudos to Earl of Pearl Monroe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. That man is a very kind soul. That man is a very humble individual. And I got to look at it from his perspective. You know? Because I'm trying to make a come up. That man's already there. So I don't want to seem as if I'm just a taker, 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 and don't want to give back. But at the same time, I would hope that Earl the Pearl, a.k.a. Black Jesus, just know the greatness that's inside him. Of course he do. Of course he do. I just had to get that man on my channel. I mean, he got the ring. He got that NBA ring for New York. And you know what? I got him. So if I never get Black Jesus again to say another word, I'm forever grateful for what I do have. You got to be grateful for the small things. And let me tell you something. I went beyond small. Earl of Pearl Monroe, y'all. Black Jesus. And with that being said, peace. I'm out. I will always try to bring y'all the best content. I'm a dreamer, and I like to make my dreams a reality. <sighs> Where can I find Clyde Frazier? He's next on that list. Peace.